And you could also face being dehired, which is again another fancy word of being fired. You know, this this is this is a, a common thing of how to a common practice to remove teachers out of a district. Not the cheating on the regents or degrading on the regents, but downgrading their rating so you could get them out of the system. You know, and as I showed you, I showed you my APPR ratings mm -hmm. where you see that when I was teaching in the New York City DOE, everything was effective, highly effective. Even my test scores in District 12, I was the number one pass rate in Earth Science Regents out of 56 schools. Mm -hmm. That says a lot. Mm -hmm. I come here and I still had 69 students out of the schools that we had here. We worked hard. My students worked hard. They came in every day since January after school, and they would stay from 3 to 5.30. Some of those students, I kid you not, that were sitting in that room for two hours and a half after school were marked down. They would come to me, and they said, Mr. Vasquez, you came back, and they would give me a hug. And inside, I know. And I, and I can't tell them because, you know, because of these issues. I can't tell them that, look, Mr. Vassos, what's wrong? Why are you sad? Why are you in your bag? You know, they would talk to me like this. Mm. I'm like, oh, you know, I, I'm just, it's not, I'm not in the mood today. So, okay, so the whistle, I know there are whistleblower laws. Yes. I don't know how to uh, put parlays into education, um, but in, in corporate America. But, um, so, if you're not able to use this information to defend yourself, how do you defend yourself? If you're not able to, like, the teachers, the, I, I feel that the parents have a right to know. Uh, they do, you know without saying? a doubt. So, what would be, say you contacted the parents and shared this, what I, could I, happen to you? I, I, criminal charges. No, so far, that's what it says in the letter. So. But, but there are, because someone printed out for me, and I have to read them, there are... There are whistleblower laws as far as the Board of Education is concerned, so that's supposed to protect you. I, um, I, I don't. So what's I it, what is the process? You have to get a lawyer, or you have to get somebody to represent you. How do I, you I, I will have to look into this. I mean, because I, I would love to just like send an email with everything to all the parents in the district, and I have all the emails, you know, because I had access to the to e school, so I have all the students' emails, I have all the parents' emails. That was the first thing I did when I came back. Once, once this started happening in November, right. I pulled everyone's email. Right. You know, again, they could see that. They saw that. That's mm -hmm. why they, they revoked my access and they told me not to contact the parents. Because I told them I, that that was going to be my next step. In the beginning of, in the ending of March, that was the, that was going to be my next step. Send all of this information out. Let the parents know. So since you've already gone as far as done enough to get fired what the hired yes why are you planning to go all the, like i mean oh, i'm going to continue going yeah i'm mm -hmm. going to continue researching which uh, you know eventually like i said you know it's going to take time it's not going to happen in a day right. you know it may happen in a year or two but but once we figure out how to get this information out it's going to be out there okay yeah well, well hopefully this video and this interview will get you more support from the places yes. that need, we will be contacting the superintendent, um, the city councilman, and the board members who Please. I, you know, all know and find out if they got your email, if they're aware of this, why they sent that email they sent out. So yeah. we're going to do all of that. So um, I hope thank that you. this, I, I thank you for your time and taking the time to share this and be transparent because a lot of people would not, they would keep their job. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Or after going through what you're going through, definitely not say nothing so maybe you can get your job back or something. Look, oh, you know. We're living in, it's 2018. We, we can't be living in fear of things like that, you know, because there's always something to do to make income. I'm not going to, if the wrong was only me, I can understand that. All right, I'm just going to stay, I'm going to shut up and, and F it all and just keep my job and, and deal with the stress when I go home. Mm -hmm. You know, but but it it's not it didn't just affect me. It affected my students, and just like a parent will protect their kid, it's my job as a teacher, as a mentor, and as a friend to protect those that I care about. And you know, if I have to be that sacrifice, then I'm going to sacrifice it. You know, it it, it was a big decision. It's not a decision I made lightly or overnight. Right. 
you know, I showed you the dates of the videos. This happened last year, right. months ago. Mm. It took nights of me staying up. That my wife, would, why are you up? Come to bed. Why are you crying? Why are you stressed out? That you know, because I had to make this choice. It was a decision you had to talk over with your wife. And yes. Make sure, yeah. You know, to get her to get her her support because she said the same thing that you just said. Just just go there and collect a check. Just go there and shut up. You know what? You know who does that? Over the teachers that we have there now. That's why they're getting away with this stuff. Because all they do is they look at it as just a check. Oh, I got to make it to the first. I got to make it to the 15th. Oh, here's my check. All right, my bills are paid. Let me go get a drink. Nah, you know what? What I The actions I do in my life define me. I'm, I don't want to be defined by that. I want to be defined by, you know what, Mr. Vasquez stood up for me. You know what, when I call Mr. Vasquez at 11 o'clock at night because I had a question, I didn't understand a question on the region, so I, I don't understand the concept, he was there. I want my peers to understand that. You understand? That's that. That's why everyone could be passive. How many people you know that are just passive? All they do is just talk and sit down and do nothing. We don't have time for that no more. Well, I agree. That's what we do here at Black West Sister. Again, I thank you for your time. Anything I didn't ask you that you want to mention? Anything? I uh, know. I know. Okay. All right. Let me stop.